what's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on this Q extender. I received this Q extender from TZ and I am honored to do a review of this Q extender. I want to thank TZ and his uh, business partner for sending me this product. I received an all black one, but this Q extender comes in different colors. You can get this one with a white collar or a black collar, but the handle you can get in multiple colors. It actually has different colors, almost mimicking pool ball colors, such as you have your yellow, you have your blue, you have your red, and you have green. It even has different black ones and a different off-white one for the Q extend extender itself. So let's go ahead and do a brief review so I can do the weight, the length, the inner and outer diameter of this Q extender itself. So let's go ahead and do the weight for this Q extender. So I got my scale set up to ounces, as you can see, it read 6.25 ounces. Let's go ahead and do the total length. This one's in inches, and it's just a little bit over 13 and a half inches long. We'll go ahead and do the outer diameter and inner diameter and the depth. So the outer diameter, where it goes to your Q, it's about 1.62. Uh, the handle part, 1.32 the depth where the Q will stop and you have 1.65 and the inner diameter we have 1.32 with the inner diameter we can actually change the diameter itself because the product the Q extender comes with three different kinds of hook and loops. As you can see, these are the hook and loops. This one is the thinner one. This is a medium, and this is the thickest one. And let's go ahead and do the measurement for the thin one first. As you can see, that is almost 400, 4 thousandths. And this one's just a little bit over five thousandths. And the thicker one is about eight thousandths. So the thickest one is just the hook part. It doesn't have the loops. So you can't you can actually stack this one, but this is gonna be your last one. So these are stackable as you can see. So you have your thick, your medium. And this is your thinnest one. And they are stackable to making, to add those up to a thicker product. And the way we install these, the Q extender just has all the loops. So this part, you can see, would extend one, two, and three, and this will be inserted into your queue. I have some of my, I'm gonna get some of my cues out and let's go ahead and test this out on a queue itself. I got some of my cues out, um, my present and my past cues. This one is the QTech breach. I don't really have a plain queue for the QTech itself. But since they use pretty much the same back end, they should be the same size for their plane queue. So I don't have any of the hook and loops installed. This is just the queue extender itself. As you can see, it has a nice fit to it. This is it. According to the manual, you do not twist it on. It's just a push and pull. So we can actually make this a little bit tighter, the way I showed you guys earlier on how to install these hook and loops. So. So now it has a tighter fit. It doesn't have that wobble and it's actually very stable. So, but this is not a plain cue. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out on different cues and see how it fits. So this is a Fury. This is a plain cue. 
It's almost the same size as the QTEC. And it fits nice and snug. It's perfect. No play, no wobble. As you can see, it secures the Q perfectly. This one is my Predator. But the thing is I epoxied it, so it's a little bit thicker on the backside on the end. It's a little bit loose, but like I said, you can actually stack these up or change it into your medium or into your, to your thick one and get this wobble out. And this one is my Mez. This one's signed by Mika Eminem. The only thing I changed with this Mez is I changed the wrap and I put a leather. But this one would need a little bit more on the hook and loops because it's really, really loose, but that can also be fixed. Because one thing about Mez, and I noticed when I measured that the, the, the butt itself, this is 1.20 because it tapers from here to here and it flattens out. And then I have my Peach Hour. This is a Pro Series. See how that fits. It's a little loose, but for fixing all that, like I said, if I didn't want this to play on any of my other cues, I can just change it. So this would be the medium. and fits perfectly on my peach hour. As you can see, it has no wobble at all. So let's go ahead and test this out on one of my playing cues and do some shots and see how well it performs. I set up an example where I might not be able to reach this cue ball. I've got the cue ball placed on the third diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail and the object ball placed on the first diamond on the long rail and half a diamond on the short rail. And I got a play position for this nine ball where it's located on the rail itself but on the first diamond on the short rail. With a regular cue, I could barely reach the cue ball itself. So with a cue extender, all you gotta do is insert it. This one is with the thinnest hook and loops, and it gives me that nice, perfect feel, no wobble, and I just gotta apply top right and get position for this nine ball. So the QX Center works very well. Let's go ahead and test it out with different shots and see how well it performs. I set up the same shot again. And this time, what I'm gonna do with the cue ball, I'm gonna apply a little bit of stun with left spin. And I'm gonna be using the QX Center again. And hopefully I can get position on the nine ball. That was actually a very good shot and I feel very comfortable using this cue extender. So let's for the last shot, I'm gonna try to do a draw shot and see how well it performs with the cue extender. I set up the same shot again, but this time I'm gonna apply draw on the cue ball and use the cue extender and hopefully I can get position on this nine ball. I didn't get a full maximum draw on the cue ball itself. It's kind of difficult when you're playing your draw shot you know, all the way at the end of the shaft itself. But there's multiple ways to get to the position on this nine ball. And with the cue extender, it really helps. I measured the inner diameter to show you that this cue extender actually fits multiple cues. For this cue extender, what I have is a thin hook and loops. So it fits perfectly into this uh, Fury. So it's so just a push and pull. As you can see, it has no wobble, pretty much no wobble, and it secures the cue perfectly. You can even hold it upside down, and it secures the cue, which I like a lot. So, but there's actually another cue extender out there, but I don't really recommend it. It extends it long, but the thing is, sometimes it'll scratch up your cue, and it's very cumbersome, and you have to twist it, 
to fasten it on the cue. It's not a push and pull, and especially if you're playing on a time with 30 seconds plus a 30 second extension, you're just wasting your extension on this extender itself. So I don't recommend this cue extension at all. To reach uh, the cue ball, you can actually use a bridge, but with a bridge, you have to have another cue because you cannot use this by itself. You actually have to apply it on another cue and it plays a different kind of stroke because it requires a stroke this way versus with a cue extender, you're playing your regular stroke. So I recommend this product. This is a nice product and I think, I think TZ has a great product. But the thing is, will it be uh, transferable? transferable? Meaning, I have my old cases here. This is a butterfly case. And let's see how much room it actually takes. So, fits in here perfectly. And normally, people have a jump cue. And it, so the jump handle will be here. As you can see, this is how much room you actually still have in your case itself. Best thing is, it actually fits perfectly into your pool cases. So this one is the butterfly. This one's a two by four tubular. And again, fits perfectly. And if you have your jump handle, look at all that space you still have. You can put all your cue accessories in here and still have plenty of room for what you need for your games. I did a brief review on this Q extender. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Hopefully this video was informative and thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs>